Hello, my Crochet for Christ friends. Here we are, ready to do round two of your granny square. Now, before you start, I want you to just stop and say a quick prayer, and then start again, and we'll begin on round two. All right, so hopefully you have completed round one, and you have something that looks kind of like this. Um, this is, that was your double crochet video, and you should have a piece that has three sets of double crochets, a chain one, three sets of double crochets, a chain one, three sets of double crochets, a chain one, another three set of double crochets, and chain one. And it might look more like a circle than it does a square right now, and that's okay. All right, now the first thing you want to do when you're starting your second round is make sure that you have those little spaces where you chained one. See, I can put my fingers in them here, okay? And there should be four of those little spaces because a, a square has four corners. So I am going to mark those spaces so that I can find them easily. You don't have to do this. If you can see them and you're not worried about where they are, then don't worry about marking them, but this might help you out if you can't find your little spaces. Now this is a stitch marker, it's a crochet, and that's the dog wanting out. A crochet stitch marker, and it just slides in your yarn like that and it holds your spot and that way you can see easily where that stitch goes. I have to let the dog out. Sorry about that. Now you won't have a stitch marker at home but another handy tool is a paper clip and you, if you just open up your paper clip you can slide that in there as well. So I found this one chain space, it's called a chain space, where you made a chain and it left a space in your work. Okay, and then one, two, three double crochets later, I have another chain space. And I'm just going to put that in there so I can find it again. Okay, one, two, three double crochets, and I have another chain space. One, two, three double crochets. And I have my last chain space, four chain spaces there, because we have four squares on a corner, okay? Now again, you don't have to do that, but it can help you see where your hook needs to go later on. All right, now I'm just going to hold my yarn as normal, and I'm going to chain three. One, two, oops, three, okay? I'm going to show you the pattern here. And I'll give each of you a copy of the pattern so you can see it. Can you see that clearly? Oops. All right. So this is our granny square. You've already done round one. We're on round two. All right. And the first thing we did is chain three. And then it says to turn your work over. And I'm going to show you in a minute how I do that. We just flip the square over so that you are kind of working on the back now. And then it says work all of the double crochets in the chain space. So those chain spaces you marked is where you're going to do your double crochets. Then it says two double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain one. Okay, so we're going to do that. We did our chain three here and now we're going to just turn our work. So we turn it around to the back side. Okay, and I've got that that marker in there so I know where to do my double crochets. So it said chain three and then two double crochets. So hopefully you remember how to do your double crochet. I'm just going to show you once. If you don't remember, go back to the last video and practice that. Okay, so I'm yarning over. I'm using my finger to hold those um, strands in place. I'm going to bring my hook forward and stick it in that chain space. Right beside that stitch marker is there. Okay, so I'm just going to stick it in right where that stitch marker is. And I'm going to yarn over here, okay, and I'm going to pull that through um, my loop. Now I have one, two, three loops on my hook, okay, yarn over, I'm going to pull through one, two, yarn over, and I'm going to pull through one, two again. So that's my first double crochet, I need to do it again, yarn over, Hold that, stick it in the loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So I have a chain three, one, two double crochets there. Okay, and then it tells me to chain two. One, two. And then it tells me to do three double crochets in that same space where that first stitch marker is, or your first paper clip, your first space, you're going to do three more double crochets. This is going to make a corner. Okay, so I'm going to do three more. One, two, three. If I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause the video and um, do what you need to do and then start it again. After those three double crochets, it tells me to chain one. And there we have our first corner. Okay, so in the corner we chain two here between our sets of double crochets. And then along the sides we only chain one. Now let's go back to the pattern. Okay, uh, there we go. Can you see that? All right, so I did the chain one. Now work these in the next chain space. So we're going to go over to our next chain space and we're going to do here it says three double crochets. Can you see? Let's see. Hopefully we can get some focus here. There. It says three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Okay? And then we're going to chain one. All right? So I'm going over to where I've got my next stitch marker, my next chain one space. All right, and that's where I'm going to put my hook in this time. I'm going to do three double crochets. So yarn over, stick it in where that next stitch marker is. Okay, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one double crochet. I'm going to just do this here. I'm going to make three double crochets, two double crochets, three double crochets. Remember, press pause if I'm going too fast and just catch up. I've got three double crochets, chain two is what my pattern says. Chain two, three more double crochets in that same spot. Same spot. Very important or you won't have corners. One double crochet, two double crochets, and three double crochets again. And then it said to chain one. Okay, now you see I'm getting some corners here. It's looking more like a square. All right, now my pattern is going to tell me to go to the next chain space and do the same thing again. We're going to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain one. Okay, so I'm going to go to that next stitch marker and I'm going to do three double crochets. One, two, three. Then it says chain two. Chain one, chain two. Three more double crochets in that same spot. One, two, three. And after that we chain one again. Okay, now we go to the next spot. All right, we're going to do that again. Three double crochets. One, two, three. And I just need some more yarn here. There we go. Then chain two, chain one, two, and three more double crochets in that spot. One, two, three, and last is chain one. So you see, it is a repetitive pattern. 
The only difference is that very first one you did was a chain three instead of a double crochet. Okay, so we have our three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain, get the tail out of the way, chain two, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain one at the end. Now the last thing we have to do to finish this round is to slip stitch it together. And I'm going to just grab the pattern again. And I hope it's not too blurry. If it's blurry, just look at your own, okay? The bottom here, it says slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain three. Okay? So what we have to do is go back to our beginning chain three. That was the first chain three we did, and it should be right beside here. We did a chain three instead of a double crochet. And you kind of got to look at it, and it's pretty easy to see where the top is, but you can count it. One, two, three chains. And you just find the top there, and what you do is slip stitch it. So you stick your hook in both parts of the V, okay, of that chain three. You yarn over, and pull through your V, and pull through the loop on your hook. And now you have your square. And now, you want it to look nice. Let's pull these stitch markers out. So you just gotta slide the paper clips out. And, oops, drop that one. There, get rid of those. And you have your granny square. This is round one. This is round two. We are going to change colors for round three. So, what you do to finish this off is you have your hook in there. That's where you did your slip stitch. Okay? All you're going to do is get your scissors, get a pair of scissors, and you're going to cut that yarn. You don't want it too short. You don't want it super long. Leave about, say, that much space here. Okay? And just snip it off. And now you can either use your hook. Okay, to use your hook, you just yarn over and pull it through that loop and just pull it all the way through. Okay, or you can use your fingers. You take that loop and stretch it out and make it big. Okay, take that end, stick it in the loop, okay, and pull it all the way through and pull it tight so it knots up. Okay, and there you have two rounds on your granny square. So I hope that went well for you. Um, if you figured that out, the rest is actually pretty easy. In the corners, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And on the sides, each side, there's four sides, we are just going to do chain, or sorry, three double crochets and chain one. Have fun. We'll see you next time.